on this computer. Is it recording? Does it say it's recording? Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So thank you guys so much for being on. I've been kind of uh, MIA on leading these um, team huddles. I've had um, a lot of leaders of the week taking them over. So I want to thank those leaders um, for stepping up. It's been crazy. I'm back to work. Um, and then we've had a lot of family stuff going on. So I think that my favorite thing about this business is that I tend to do better when I am working um, because I am out and about and I'm talking to people and meeting new people all the time. So um, I want to thank you guys for being on here. These I want to preface that by saying these next few months are, are crucial to your business. You might not see a lot of immediate production um, or a, a lot of immediate income coming in from the business. But if you are not consistent now, um, you are going to miss out on a stellar time, like February to like July, August are, it's insane. It, it's nuts. Like February, March, April, May are out, like out of this world. So you, if you want to rein in on that, I'm talking like 10 times paychecks, like paychecks that are 10 times what you're making now, if you really want it. Um, so you got to stay consistent right now. Five things to do to remain consistent in your business each and every day. I don't care if it takes you 30 seconds to do each one, do it. Um, as long as you get it done, obviously the more effort you can put into it, the higher your paycheck is going to be. But these are the five things you have to have to have to do. A lot of you guys are on here because you're like, I don't know like what I should be doing or I don't know who I should be talking to. And that's kind of going to be the topic of tonight. But these are the five things you have to do every day. Write it on your mirror. Get it done first thing when you wake up each morning. If you have to wake up a half an hour earlier each morning just to get it done or stay up a half an hour later just to get it done, get it done, okay? Um, remember your why. You are doing these things for a reason. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about perspective tonight as well. So remember that when you're tired, is staying up, is getting out of bed, getting off your. I know a lot of you grab your phone first thing in the morning, you scroll through Facebook before you even get out of bed. Stop, get up, and get to work. Okay. Um, so here's the five things you have to do every day. One, you have got to share. Okay, share. Share about the opportunity, share about a product and what it does, share about what a product did to help somebody, share. I don't care, share each and every day. You can do that on social media. I suggest everyone does it on social media because it takes about 2.5 seconds. Um, and your team's also gonna be watching that. And you can do that belly to belly. Um, you can give someone a blitz card, that's sharing. You can ask a mom, like, hey, can we meet up for coffee? I, I really want to share this, this business opportunity for you. Share. Just share, okay? That's number one. Next thing is um, to learn every day. Now, a lot of people say, I just don't have time to read a book, or I don't have time to watch a video. Bull honky. You shower, you have time. Put a, a training video on in the background while you're showering. Turn that, turn that mother effer up and listen to it while you're showering, okay? Um, put a, an Audible book. A lot of Audibles are on YouTube. You can get your first Audible book for free also um, as a download. Put it in. Rent an Audible from the library. Um, put it in while you're showering, while you're putting your makeup on, while you're getting ready, while you're driving. I get so much personal development done while I'm driving. Um, when you're at the gym, when you're on the treadmill, whatever, well, you've got time to get it done. So share, learn, um, network each and every day. You're going to add new friends. You're going to, um, that could be on social media. That could be adding new followers on Instagram. You can network and go to networking meetings. We're going to talk about different ways and, and different ways to find new people new eyes okay but network so we have share learn network and we're also going to talk about um about being an asker you're going to be a professional asker every day there i how many times have you guys gotten a, a follow-up call from somebody um i'm trying to give an example like some a lot of people they'll forget about their nail appointment or their hair appointment until that person follows up with them hey you have why do you think doctor's appointments call you up 
and say, hey, just wanted to give you a reminder, you're going to be in a, you have a, a dentist appointment tomorrow at noon, or you have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at two. Um, it's because it's your job to, to network and reach out to people and, and remind them, hey, I'm here and I have this. So uh, I'm sorry, be a professional asker in the sense of asking people um, and again, I, I say this like every time we have a video on different ways you can be a professional asker. If you don't know how to do that, come back to me. You can ask people to throw parties. You can ask people to have a ladies night in. Don't even mention the business. Say, like, hey, let's have a let's have a ladies night in. I'll bring some wine. Let's do some little mini facials on people. I can ask a massage therapist to come over and charge five dollars for 10 minute massages. I'll get into that more later as well. And then just have your product sitting out and, and like, and just let people kind of ask about it or when they bitch and moan about something, you, you ask them like, Hey, can I share this with you? Like I can help. Um, so you're going to be a professional asker each and every day. You're going to ask people to, to do 90 day challenges and a product testimonial for you. You're going to ask people if they want to make some extra money. Okay. So each and every day be a professional asker. You don't need to wait for people to come to you. Okay. Uh, and then last but not least, um, follow up, guys. People are going to go, yeah, I'd, I'd totally be down in hearing about making extra money. And then you go, cool, like, here, watch this video. And then you don't ever ask them, like, hey, like, what were your questions from the video? Hey, where's your head at? Where are you on a scale of 1 to 10 on, um, you know, doing this with me? Um, hey, I know you had mentioned wanting to grow your hair out. And, you know, we talked about it, but where are we at? So follow up, okay? So let's recap those really quick. We are going to um, share each and every day. We're going to learn each and every day. We're going to network. We are going to um, be a professional asker and we're going to follow up every day, every day. Write those five things out. If you have not done those five things before you go to bed, then you really don't want out of the situation you're in. A lot of people are on this Zoom because you are in a situation, either it's financial or you hate your job or you have no time with your kids and you hate it. And you join that business, this business for that, or you really truly believe that you're made for more and you want residual income and you want bigger and better things. But then at the end of the day, you're like, I think I'm just rather watch um, fucking Young and the Restless uh, reruns instead of doing my business. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, my TV's over here. That's why I, it's not on, but um, that's why I was looking that way. You know, so guys get real with yourself get real like i you want to do this and do it and that leads me to the next topic is you've got to each and every day have the affirmations and knowing other people are doing this business other people are promoting to still to ambassador diamond presidential diamond diamond ruby emerald whatever and they're making these big paychecks and there's no reason why they should be able to do this and you shouldn't they don't have any secrets they're just busting their ass okay so you have got to wake up and you have to give yourself those affirmations and tell yourself, I am an ambassador diamond. I am going to sign some teammates up today. I'm going to get people um, healthier. I'm going to help people with their weight or I'm going to help people with their hormones or whatever it is you want to like think specific and envision yourself doing that each and every day. I especially do this when I'm driving because sometimes I'll get down on myself and I'm like, I'm just so tired of my team. Like, they don't show up first off or they, and I'm like, whoa, 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 stop, stop. Like, and I'll, I will say, I'm going to find a rock star today. I'm so grateful for the team that I have that is here with me. And like, you've got to shift your mindset. And that's really where I think the learning and personal development helps guys. You have got to unlock the powers of the universe. And I am, I am not saying that I am perfect. I have been in slumps. I've been depressed. I have I have lost ranks. I have gained, regained ranks. I have gone. Pay, I have paychecks that have gone up to where people. I've had paychecks that are fifteen thousand. I've had paychecks that are that are one hundred and fifty bucks. So you know, like guys, you just. I'm in there. I, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I just know that when I preach this to you, um, it inspires me because I know I I I've come back out of slumps. Um. I think that's one of the coolest things about this business is watching someone fail and come back. Um, so if you have failed and if you have like, like slowed down or don't, don't think that you have like failure is the end success. The real success comes after watching someone come up from a failure. 
okay? Um, failing does not mean you're a failure. You have to fail your way to success. So it doesn't, success does not come without failing, okay? So, all right. We are having this talk because people just aren't sure who to reach out to. So um, we have like maybe five quick minutes. I want to like regroup on a positive note. Um, you, uh, let's talk about perspective. Um, you can think about all the things that didn't happen for your, uh, your business this week, or you can think about the things that did and focus on those and doing more of that. So if you would like to share a success with us for the week, uh, you know, like a 10, 15 second little blurb of something that was awesome that happened for you or your business this week, please um, feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and start because I know usually people are a little bit shy about this. I'll start picking on people if people don't talk to. So just FYI. Um, so I worked um, on my Omni shift last night. I worked at a wine bar, poured wine for members, and some amazing things happened to me. Uh, while we were setting up, one of the girls goes, Melissa, your hair is getting so long. If you guys keep your ears open, people that all around you are going to drop hints. Like God drops hints all over the place. Okay. It's just that sometimes you're so caught up in your own head and your own BS that you aren't listening. So I was like, uh, thanks girl. I've been taking this vitamin and, and she goes, I've been trying to take, I've been trying to grow my hair and it just, it will not grow. I've been trying for years now. I said, well, I've got something for that. And she goes, do you? Pulled out my phone, looked through pictures. Okay, so um, keep your ears open. As I'm doing that, she goes, but don't you have like some wrap thing too? Because she sees my wrap magnet on my car. I don't know this girl, guys. I've never hung out with her. This is just someone that was at, she's a banquet server. She's a huge, ho you know, hotel. And I said, yeah, I've got, I've got some things. She said, can I, can I, is it, can you, will you get rid of my fat? I said, well, I can tighten your loose skin. We can talk about weight loss, but but like, what does it look like? So I said, do you want me, are you comfortable showing me? Took her to the bathroom. She showed me. It's a ton of loose skin from a couple C-sections. And uh, this is not 10 seconds, is it? Wow, terrible example. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and she's like, I want it. Give it to me now. Sign We're signing her up as a loyal customer right there from my phone. After shift, of course. Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, as she's talking about it, she goes, I'm so excited, Melissa. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You have no idea. I'm so excited. I knew you did something. I just didn't know. I didn't know what this was. But we're bing, 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 guys, there's people that don't know about this. You're just in your own head thinking everybody knows about it. As she's saying it, the girl goes, what is it? What do you mean a tummy, loose skin? What? And I said this, and I showed her pictures. And she's like skinny as a rail. I'm like this, look. She goes, I want that. I said, well, I have some in my purse. She goes, okay, I want it now. And I made cash right there on the spot. Sent her a video on how to wrap her own tummy. She, and I said, hey, we can actually get you um, these for much cheaper next time. Um, why, why don't we talk about that? Let's meet up and talk about it, okay? If I can wrap them there on the spot, that's always the preferred method for me or setting up a time. But she was like, I just want to do this while my husband's gone and he's out of town this weekend. I'm like, here, girl. I took the money, you know, and, and sent her instructions, followed up with her today, drink your water, all that stuff. So, um, I got to make money while making money last night. So I made tips. I made like 25 bucks an hour too. And then I got to make, I mean, just in cash alone, guys, I think I made like 40 bucks. Cause I think I gave her, I threw some stuff in, but, um, I worked a seven hour shift. What's, what's 40 divided by seven. That's an extra five, six bucks an hour. How, how, raise your hand if you'd like an extra $5 an hour at your job. Yeah. Anyone want an extra $5 an hour? Okay. Well then sell a flip and wrap. Like, you know what I mean? So listen, listen, people. Um, I'm not friends with these people. I didn't have their phone numbers before. They're not on my Facebook. It's, I mean, I, you can seal a deal belly to belly so quickly. So listen, all right? So that's my success. Wow, cool. Anyone else want to say a 10-second success? Yeah, I will. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I'm totally with you on the whole belly to belly thing. Um, I feel like it just um, refuels you. So Crystal and I did an event yesterday at a church, 
Um, and we took our boys with us and we were there from like 8.30 to 4. And even though it wasn't as busy as we thought it was going to be, we still each got a handful of leads. Um, and we got to talk to a bunch of people and a lot of people have never heard of us. So you think that everybody on Facebook or Instagram, you know, has heard of us, but they haven't. So I agree. That, yeah. That's my two cents. <laughs> yeah, I agree. hundred percent. We're going to talk about events too quickly. Um, anyone else care to share success? Okay. I have a I have another one from yesterday, but not our event. Yeah, hit me. So, um, I went to a birthday party, and um, the my friend's mom was there, and she's like, "Oh, you've lost so much weight. You look so good." And I'm like, "Well, I really haven't. I haven't lost any numbers on the scale." And she goes, "Well, your tummy looks a lot better." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's these wraps. I've tightened up my skin since you know having my son." And she's like, "What wraps?" And so I showed her a blitz card and she goes, oh, okay, I'm, I'm calling you. I need these things. Just showing up at a birthday party, like having yeah. it on my face. And I think, you know, what's so beautiful about that is like, you're living your life still. You're not glued to your phone. You're not like in the office somewhere. Like you're like living your life, having a good time with your family and your kids or, or doing what you're supposed to be doing. And, and, um, you know, you get to share through that. So I just, I just think it's awesome. So. Um, okay, Clint, let me unmute you. All right. So back to what Crystal said, that's being a, a perfect example of being a product of the products. And I, and I love that. That's awesome. So um, for me, um, I got kind of intimidated with this whole keto thing, if I'm being completely honest, uh, because when I started, um, I started by cutting out meat and dairy. And I had a, a lot of success, uh, not even trying to lose weight, but my, you know, starting with the protein shake and all that the plant-based protein shake. Anyways, um, I was kind of, I'm interested in this keto diet, but I'm like, it's not where I was going to try and cut out meat and dairy. And I just kind of got lost in my head with that and a little bit intimidated. And um, anyways, I got into the gym recently um, the other day and I started posting on social media again. I, I ordered the Mist Stack and that came in the mail and I was so excited because I hadn't tried Thermal Fit and I hadn't tried New You and I'm so excited to give that a go. Um, and uh, I hadn't been doing as much posting on Facebook. Well, I did a Facebook Live um, opening up my myth stack. And I went over the things in it and kind of talked about New You and Thermal Fit. And within, I think it was within two hours, one of my loyal customers messaged me, started messaging, asking questions. He's like, well, it better work because I just ordered it. So that was awesome. Um, and then I was posting the other day. Um, I just, I think I took a selfie in front of the gym and, said something like it's getting really real y'all and that I got a ton of comments on that and a friend of mine who I used to work with and I had not um I've been wanting to talk to him about it works this whole time I just haven't had the right time he started messaging me asked me where I'm working out this and that and the other and we talked a little bit and then later that night we've never messaged on messenger later that night he out of the blue messaged me he says hey you should try keto and so we start talking um and I'm telling him about the keto coffee and this and that and you know how I was thinking about it, but not sure. And he's like, man, it's really not that hard. And he's like, do you have a plan? And I said, no. And he says, well, what's, what's your weight? What's your height? You know, I can, I can help you. And I said, well, I really, it would help if you could teach me how to do that myself, because I need to be able to teach how people how to do this as well and figure out a plan for them. And uh, so, and then he's asked about macros and I said, Hey, just hold tight real quick. I said, I don't know where your head's at right now, but you need to do this with me. I said, this, if you are already this passionate about this and do this, you really need to think about joining this company with me. And I talked to him a little bit more. I said, well, are you open to you know, getting on the phone with my friend Melissa? Because she knows a lot more about this than me. Long story short, even though I've gone way over 10 seconds, <laughs> we got on the phone uh, a little bit later. And how long were we on the phone, Melissa? It was like We were talking hour. for like almost an hour and a half. Maybe yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. It was a long time. And the guy was so passionate about this keto diet. We just kept talking. And it got me to, uh, you know, completely reversed my head about the whole situation. So now I'm excited and, you know, and think that this is something that I can do too. And, like, I want to share it with my mom. And, like, so, you know, it lit a fire in me 
uh, that excited me. And I could potentially have this rock star uh, distributor um, coming in. Like Melissa, he's a total green. He asked so many questions. It was hilarious. But, uh, but yeah, it, uh, that was super exciting. Yeah, that was exciting. Um, I have a loyal customer for life. Thanks to Confianza, Lori says. That's exciting. Let's take one more. Does anyone else have one last one they want to add in? I have a short one. Um, there you just, are. Yeah, yesterday I was at the grocery store. And I picked a long line intentionally so that I would be able to kind of listen to conversations. I had my phone put away. And the person behind me was buying like a ton of different beer. <laughs> I was like, oh, do you like to have parties? And they're like, oh my gosh, I drink all the time. It's horrible. And they like smacked their belly. I was like, you know, I have something that can help um, prevent a uh, beer belly. And she's like, what? So I added her on Facebook and she's... Um, gonna be ordering the fat fighters that's awesome oh my gosh we just all need to go hang out at bars and tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome um yeah that's cool i love it um okay so thank you guys for sharing those successes i'm gonna i'm gonna literally breeze over different ways that you guys can find other people um to network with to share the business with share the products with etc um and what i'd like you to do is if there's a topic in particular that you're like i need to understand more on this just either put it on the chat or unmute yourself and tell me um so that we can kind of i want i want to thank you guys for being on here live because of course i'm recording this and everybody knows i always record it but the feedback is really appreciated so um, the topics that in the different ways that I personally um, am able to continue to network with people and find new potentials. Listen, guys, if you have skin and you're over 18, you're a potential for me. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, yellow, man, female, 95, or just turned 18. Like, I don't care if you have skin and you're over 18, you're, you're a potential. And I don't call them a potential LC. I don't call them a potential DT because it's not my, my job to decide. It's not my job to go, that's a potential LC when they can't even pay their electric bill but really want some fat fighters. You know, like, you, that's not your job to decide. You have to offer it to everyone, okay? So I'm going to breeze through these and, again, type in the chat or unmute if you want to go in detail on these. Um, blitzing. Um, parties. Booking parties from parties. This is a fun one. Uh, doing a catalog party where you get additional leads. That one's kind of a fun one too. Um, making conversations with people as you're at different places. Like if you're out to dinner with your husband, if you're at a bar, if you're out dancing, if you are going to the bank, if you're in a grocery store line, if you're at the park with your kids, I think I might've already said that. Um, if you, whatever. Um, networking events and where to find them, um, event leads, social media. Those are different ways, the ones I have down for now. Anyone's, anyone's, any particular ones you guys are like, listen, I have been blitzing and it's not working. Like, did anyone like feel like that? Or do you guys want to hear more about how to book a party from a party or... Mm -hmm. What is a catalog party? <laughs> okay, so catalog party, so much fun. Okay, so easy. This is how you can get 100 leads in like 10 days. So you have a catalog. This is an old one, obviously. I'm just sitting at my desk, so I just pulled it. And by desk, I mean a six-foot fold-up table with papers all over it. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> um, you give a couple catalogs to somebody that really likes helping people, somebody that knows a lot of people, maybe works with a lot of people, you ask them in advance, say, hey, could you, I know you had been wanting to try a wrap or a facial or a fat fighters or whatever, and it's just been kind of a money issue or you're not sure if you wanna spend the money, I wanna give you a free one in exchange for you doing a catalog party for me. So you give them maybe like five to 10 catalogs you put a lead slip on every single catalog, name, phone number, 
email address, whatever you want to put down on there to contact that person. And then um, you tell them when all 10, Mama, I like to give them 10. Okay. Where does our friend that's really, really sick? That she's not sick, she just doesn't have food. Oh. So but, we're, we're buying her food. But, but, Where does she live? Yeah. Africa. Oh. Or no, Haiti. She lives in Haiti, okay. I think. <laughs> we sponsored from Children's Cup a little girl. You get to pick who, like, you get to pick a book, and they actually write you and all this stuff. So the girls, I have them do pictures and stuff, and they get to get in on the writing. But um, that's actually through It Works. If those of you guys who don't know about the Gives Back program, we'll hear about it at um, at a uh, conference. Um, so, anyways, I like to give them ten, and I'll say like, as soon as all ten of these slips are filled out you're gonna get that free fat fighters. You're gonna get that free. Oh, and in the meantime, there's also order forms right there in the catalog for your friends that would just like to go ahead and place an order. But I'd like to get their contact information to make sure that they, they um, want to, they know how to use the products or understand um, how to get the discount and whatnot. So you can get, give that to 10 different people that you know of like, like your aunt, the one that says they, they always support you, and, and but they would never do the business. Like, just they'll help you. Like, I have an aunt that's like that. I was I, When I went triple, I was like, Aunt, aunt Danielle, you work with like 100 people in an office. Like, please. Like, I need your help. And she's like, that would help you if I threw a party? I'm like, no, duh, Sherlock. Like, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, it would help me. <laughs> so, anyways. So, yeah, that's a great way to get, like, 100 you give that to 10 people with 10 catalogs 100 leads i like to even if there's old catalogs on the on the it works site or even on those like weird sites where they're reselling product frick get some and uh do some catalog parties um event leads so barbara do you want to talk about how to follow up with event leads or do you want to talk about how to find events or both um how to follow up Okay, you're simple. I have a video of me calling someone from a party, but I send them this text. I will read it to you right now. Lead. I shouldn't have typed in lead. I should have typed it. Okay. Hi, Melinda. This is Melissa with It Works. We met at Shannon's slumber party last month. You had entered a drawing to win some of our natural health and skincare products. You're one of our winners. Congrats. Let me know when you're available to chat so we can go over your options of what to redeem. Thank you. I'm available at this time, this day, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I set an appointment or I set it in my calendar to call her. I call her and I say, hey, Melinda, I just want, you know, congrats on being a winner. And she's like, yeah, I never win anything. This is how it goes down usually. And I go, um, so what you win is actually a free mini facial. You're going to get some skin tightening along with that as well. Um, but you are totally allowed to open that mini facial up to as many friends as possible or as many friends as you'd like and share that with them so they all can get mini facials as well. Should you do that, you're going to not only get some free wine, but as long as there's five or four or more there, you're also going to get upgraded to your choice of a skin tightening body wrap or a skin tightening, um, a, I call it like, I kind of have like an advanced skin tightening facial. And then I, I, I say, um, and it depends, like sometimes they write down that they were really interested in the greens. So I might say like, but if you have five people there or for every person you have there, you're going to get an additional day, day's worth of greens. So if they have 10 people there, I give them 10 green packets on the go. So then I, right then and there, I go, I'm sitting in front of my calendar. Um, I see the next two weeks in front of me. Um, I have, I give them kind of like three options. I say, are weekends or weekdays better for you? Like I don't give them. And sometimes they're like, wait, I don't understand. Like, so do I have to, sometimes they'll say, I, I have to throw a party. And I go, no, 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 no. You get a mini facial regardless. You won that. Um, so I'm going to come and give you that mini facial. But if you want to, you know, invite some friends over and share the love, give them a mini facial too, then you actually get more free stuff too. You don't have to. I'm going to come over either way. And so I will do the cleanser, the exfoliating peel. I will then do the um, 
preventage or the repairage, depending on what time of day we're doing it, and the wow. Now I'm getting four products on them. I have probably about 15, 20 minutes to talk to them about the opportunity in the business. And as soon as I get there, I ask them, did you want to go ahead and upgrade to the full um, anti-aging facial mask or a skin tightening facial or a skin tightening body wrap? It's 25 for each or 45 if you want to do both. And I would tell you, most of the time they're like, yeah, let me just do the 45. And then, then you can sell a wrap too right there. So then I have like 45 minutes to talk to them and kind of pretty much go over the party pack. So sometimes they're like, well, let me look at what my schedule's like, or I really don't want to throw a party. And I say, that's fine. Let's just me and you get together then and, and um, you pamper yourself. And if it's a guy, I might go another route. I might do, um, I'll give them the option um, of doing the facial because a lot of guys actually will still do that. <laughs> um, or like a, a free detox package or um, a free energy boosting detox package and do like an energy drink and greens or whatever. So you can play with it in that sense. Um, or sometimes you could say, you know, would you prefer to give it to your wife or girlfriend or whatever? Um, so mostly women are entering your, your stuff. So a lot of the men that come to our booths and the events, we sign them up right then and there actually. So, um, now there's going to be some people that aren't going to respond to your text. Okay. So I like, I usually will say, Hey, this is Melissa again. Um, cause sometimes they're like, this must be like spam. That's what they're thinking. So I'll say, I'll say, Hey, like, um, this is Melissa again. Did you want to go ahead and talk about redeeming what your winnings or should I move on to the next person? I'll say something like that. But I save them always in my phone as so-and-so rap lead or so-and-so rap lead Shannon slumber party. So what I do next in my Snapchat, I add them on Snapchat because it tells you as soon as you add a new contact, if they have Snapchat, now that's a whole nother training. You just play with the buttons if you don't know how to do it. Um, and then I, on Snapchat, you can post all day long and it's actually better for your business. Unlike on Facebook and Instagram, where if you post too much, it actually works against you, um, in the algorithms. There's no crazy algorithm with Snapchat. So, um, so yeah, you just continue to follow up. You continue. Um, you can even give them a call like, Hey Sally, I hadn't heard back from you. I just wanted to make sure one, you're okay. Like, is everything okay? And two, um, did you want to, I wanted to let you know what you want, you know? So, um, worst case scenario, I either have them, you can also add them on Facebook and Instagram. It'll show you like, you, um, add new friends, contacts, and it'll show you. So that's an option as well. Um, but yeah, so does that, did that help? Sorry. Okay, cool. Who am I? What else? Event leads we talked about. Okay. So what else? Anyone else want to go over? We talked about catalog parties. Blitzing, I have like a whole video on blitzing. Um, I had a quick yeah. question. Uh, when, you're, when you're doing, um, when you go to do a facial party for someone, are you putting product on somebody or do you I let am. them do it themselves? See, because I'm not... I, so I have them wash their own face unless they have like kind of a reclining chair and I bring a bowl. So I bring like a big like mixing bowl and a couple of washcloths. Um, if you're doing multiple people, you have to please be careful in using new items for each person because you don't want to transfer someone's skin. Like if someone has like dermatitis or, or like an infection and then you transfer it to the next person. Like, so it's got to be fresh stuff for that. Technically, you're supposed to be a licensed cosmetologist to do this. Right. <laughs> um, so my sister is actually a licensed cosmetologist, so I always use her. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so be obviously just be smart about it, or you can walk them through it as well, and then um, just kind of do the moisturizer and the wow yourself. For me, I want them to like enjoy it, so I'm always like, okay, right. can relax. Like, even you know, I want them to just kind of enjoy it and okay. find it to be pampering. Um, so yeah, good question. Um, Blitzing we talked about, or we have talked about like 8 million times, um, party, parties from parties. Um, at the end of a party, I love saying this. I like to go, okay, y'all are going to want to wrap again in three days. Okay. So I have Thursday, Friday, Thursday night, 
Friday night and Saturday afternoon available for people to get free wraps. Who wants one? And, and they'll be like, I want one. I want one. Cool. All right. I need you to bring four friends Thursday night and you get a free, free one. What the, and what's your address? And I book it. Okay. So, um, and you just keep booking a party from a party from a party doing that. So you usually get one. Uh, making conversations with people. I highly suggest you reading the book, um, how to win friends and influence people because we are in an age that you are constantly looking down at your phone and people don't even talk to each other anymore. So, um, I, you know, when you're out and about and there's a bunch of people around you, get off your phone. Okay. Get off your phone and, and look at what's around you and enjoy it and love it and love on people and be friendly. Say hello, ask questions. Um, trying to think of someone on here, maybe, no, um, me and Joey, whenever we'd have date nights, we used to sign up the bartenders as distributors, like almost every time, just cause we're sitting there having conversation and getting to know them. And they always, always drop in. So be like, yeah, I actually work like three bar jo bartending jobs. And I'll be like, listen, like I've been in your shoes. Um, we help people. You'd be really good at what we do. Like, can I send you some information about, um, making some money with us? Like I used to bartend, like you would be awesome at this. Um, so keeping your ears open, you know, like the girls talking about her hair, not growing at work yesterday or someone to complaining about weight or their knees hurting. Don't ever be afraid to say, Hey, I, um, I, I can help you. I have something that can help. Mm. And then waiting to see what they say. Um, I know Nina just hopped on. She's really good at belly to belly and events. Um, Nina, I just, I, I laid out like several different things I do to find additional people that want our products in the business. And uh, these are the ones I laid out. I know you're like an event queen. So I want to get some tips from you on that. But I told them blitzing, booking parties from parties, doing catalog parties, making conversations with people and just keeping your ears open about complaints they have, um, networking and events, and then uh -oh, social media ads, friends and following new people. So if you have anything to add to that or tips you want to give, would you mind? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll definitely add to that. So big things I do. I really prefer belly to belly. You know, I, um, it's funny cause I kind of signed up with this business. I was turned on by it because it was not a quote unquote party based business. You know, the fact that when we have a party, it doesn't matter if we sell anything, we're walking away with cash in our hands because people are there to try the wrap and I could have, you know, the company I did before I could have a party of, you know, 15 people and they'd all try my product and walk away. And I wasted three hours and got nothing out of it because nobody ordered anything. Like I can spend an hour of my time and I know I'm walking away with a hundred dollars in cash, you know, just from doing that. So I ended up becoming in love with the belly to belly and the partying and the events and stuff like that, because I feel like, but again, my strength is being in person because I like it when people can feel my enthusiasm. They want to be a part of something exciting. I am absolutely in love with the products. So I think that, um, that's a really big tip that I can have. You've got to be in love with it works and our products. If you're not, then what are you excited to share? You know, of course the opportunity is phenomenal and it's always there and it's amazing, but you know, if only thing you're in love with is the opportunity <clears throat> when times get tough and things are slow, that's when people fall off the wagon. So you've also, you got to have something else that you love. You got to love the products, use the products. People want to know, whether they're a complete stranger to you or not, whether you're at an event and you're just talking to somebody that you've never met or you're at a party and you're talking to a friend of a friend, you're still a real person in front of them and they can relate to you more than they can a story of somebody else. So they want to know your personal results. So what do you like? What have you tried? What have you know, what have you accomplished? It doesn't have to be just weight loss. It could be the skincare. It could be, um, you know, the digestive products, anything. So find something that you love, use it, for more than one, once or twice, come on, we all are guilty of it. And especially the wraps. Um, when I do an event, I always, always, always put my personal results in a big blown up picture and, and a frame right at the very front of my table. Another thing too, when I first started, and again, I've been in this for over five and a half years. When I first got started, it was you know very unheard of. And, and, and still the past couple of years have been so much about social media. 
that you've got such a huge opportunity in your hands to snag up those events and find people who had never heard of it before because not everybody's on Facebook, not everybody's paying attention, or they're just kind of, eh. but again, they're seeing it in person for the first time. You've got a huge opportunity there. So I would hear people walk by my table and go, oh my God, that stuff is so expensive. And I'd be like, no, it's not. Y'all, I, I, you know, I could barely afford anything and I could afford this, you know? So I went on ahead and again, went to the Dollar Tree and got a bright neon green poster board and in big stickers, one wrap, $25, two wraps, $50, three wraps, $75, four wraps, $59 with an asterisk. And then underneath that, another little asterisk and said, ask me about our discount program. And that immediately, as soon as people see that big $25 sign, that lets them know, you know, they're in an event, they're there to, you know, see vendors and know they're there to spend money. 25 bucks, that's not a lot of money to spend. So again, that gets them to your table, seeing your personal results. Whoa, I walk up, yeah, that's me. What, that's you, no way, yeah. You know, again, conversation starts. Um, and you start to build on that personal relationship because they can relate to you and your personal results. Doesn't have to be at the wrap, but that is what's always the best because you can't get the wrap anywhere else. You can get great vitamins and other stuff other places, even though ours is probably better, but you can't get a wrap anywhere else. So wrap until you fall in love with it and have great results to share. It might take more than four. It might take more than 12, but get, you will get there. Um, but that's a really big thing. And sometimes the biggest thing too with events is if you are not um, talking to people. So I've done great events. I've done horrible events. And I'll tell you, um, I've done events with somebody that was, I mean, like, I was so embarrassed that she was doing the table with me. She was standing at the front. We, I had booked the fair and we had it for what, two weeks or however many, however long it was. And she was standing at the front going crazy wraps, crazy wraps. If you ever heard of crazy wraps, crazy wraps, crazy wraps. So I'm like, oh my God, stop. So if, you, if you're doing an event and you're feeling awkward and you, you know, I've got social anxiety, so I get it. I don't let that hold me back. Um, go stand at the front of your table, make it pretty. You don't have to have, spend a lot of money. Just make it bright green, attracts people. They want to know what's green. They see green, they come over to see what that color is about. Have your personal results out there, your big green sign that you got at the Dollar Tree. And stand out there and just say, hi, how are you doing today? You ask them a question, they have to respond to, good, thanks. Then I say, have you ever heard of It Works before? When you get that conversation started, if you just go, hi, or you want to come see my booth, you know, if you ask them something that they can't respond to or they can say yes or no to, you have to ask an open-ended question. How are you doing? Hi, how's it going today? What brings you to the event? You know, ask them questions, get that conversation going. As soon as you say, have you heard of it works? Well, no, then they start, then they feel comfortable to start looking at your booth. Then they'll start asking questions. Maybe they've heard of it. Maybe they've seen it. Maybe their friend tried a product and liked it. Maybe they were a customer a long time ago. You're going to get all kinds of different answers from people, but you're going to get that conversation started. Um, having things for people to taste and try, like the energy drink, the greens, the wow, having things on hand for people to sample. And um, out of all the parties that I've done, my absolute hands down most favorite parties ever are free sample parties. Um, we have so many products to choose from. And again, if you are running your auto shipment every single month because you are using the products, you will have products on hand like the greens, like the wraps, different things. Try something different every single month. Always switch it up. I always have things. I use everything except for the ester rhythm because I'm just not at that age yet. But I always have things on hand. If I know I'm working to do an event or going to have a party, I make sure that I have extra things because people want to try before they buy. They might, you know, hate the berry greens and love the orange greens. They might really like the chocolate. I had an amazing sample party where I always talked up the vanilla profit. This is before we had shake. And I talked up the vanilla profit because I liked it and told, you know, my cousin, my, my people there, I had them try it all the different ways. And I said, you know, you can at least add cocoa powder to the chocolate. Well, we did that. And we add cocoa powder to the vanilla. We tried all those things. She actually ended up liking the chocolate way better. And she wanted to order that. And she was so happy that she'd gotten to try it because if she'd just taken my word for it, she would have gotten the vanilla out of the cocoa powder and not liked it as much as the chocolate. So again, letting people have the opportunity to try things, they are more likely to buy it right then on the spot. You've got, got that little window of opportunity where they're there, you seal the deal, assu assume the sale as they say. And again, you know, when you do an event or, or events can be a couple hours, um, they're successful if you go up and talk to people and gather leads and contact those leads. I can't tell you how many people I know will do an event 
get a hundred names and not do anything with it. You've just got to reach out. Everybody's a winner. Everybody gets a free rap session. Everybody gets a free sample of something. Um, make it worth their time because again, this could be your next loyal customer, your next distributor. Um, but I think Melissa, what did you say about uh, oh booking parties off of parties? That's what I wanted to talk about too. That is huge, you know, because you think about your warm market. So maybe you booked a party with one of your friends. The people they're going to bring to their party are out of your cold market. They're probably a lot of people you don't know. They're friends of your friends. So if there's four people there, if each one of those people books a party, that's four people times four. That's 20 more people that you wouldn't have known. And, and multiply that number. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. If you keep um, booking parties off of parties, that is so many people from your cold market that you wouldn't have met. And again, this is happening within an hour. Um, Whereas, you know, if you work your business solely social media, you know, it takes time. You want to build those relationships. You want to get to know the people, but that takes weeks and months and you should still be doing that. But in the meantime, aside from that, fill in those weeks and months and holes that you're building relationships online with building relationships in person. So <laughs> I could go on and on and on. Yeah, no, thank you. I, I was trying to keep it muted while they come running in and out. They're getting to that point that like, you know, usually it's about 10, 15 minutes before we're about to end and they're like, hey, hey, mom, mom, mom. So, um, but yeah, yeah, we went over a, a lot, but I do like the big green sign for sure about the like 25 for one. Like that's not a lot for a lot of people. Girls, please, you can't write on it if you're going to be loud, okay? Um, so, but yeah, so I, I hope that's like, that's helped a lot of people. Um. It's really in your mindset and being, and you have to ask people, you have to ask people, you can't just expect people to come to you. Okay. If you need help, this is the other thing I really wanted to, when I put that post up and I am a 10, so many people were like, I need help. I need help. I need me, me, me. You have got to ask for help. Okay. <laughs> like I talked to Clint. Clint is a freaking rock star. He's boxed for Ruby. Um, he's only been in a few months. He's a freaking rock star. I talk to him every single day. He tells me when he needs stuff. He tells me when he needs help. He tells me if he wants me on the phone. He literally goes, Hey, I have this person that was like, yeah, I want to make money. And I didn't tell them I was going to get you on the phone yet, but, um, can you get on the phone? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sure. Get on the phone. And he's like, Oh, Hey, I was just talking to my friend, Melissa about you. And, and, and she was like, Hey, let's just call them and talk to them see how they feel. And like, I'm, I, you know, we just roll with it. So if you have need help, you got to tell us guys, Alicia is so supportive. Nina is so supportive. I am so supportive. If, if you're not on my team, I am going to do 100% my best to get you help. And if your upline for some reason tells you, no, I'm not available. No, I can't do it. Like I will get on the phone too. Okay. I have to be smart about my time. I, I literally have like two on-call jobs, uh, a, um, no, I have an on-call job, a full-time job, and I have it works. So, and my family. So, I might not be able to do it for you exactly how you want, but Clint knows. Like, I try to make time, or I'll be like, "Ah, shit, I'm doing this or that or whatever." But you've got to speak up if you need something. You got to speak up if you're feeling down. You got to speak up. And there's been times where I've said to Alicia, "I'm in a, I'm in a slump. Like, help me out here, girl. Like, pick me up. Tell me something good. You know, like I, I feel like." I'm losing my powwow, you know? And so, so talk, stay in an open communication, show up, show up to events, show up to Zooms. We do these Zooms every week. If you are not on my team every Sunday night, two or an hour before the start of the family call, hop on. Like, I don't care. Watch the recording from the week before on my YouTube channel. Um, I usually use the same number for, the same zoom number for all of the Sunday night huddles. So, um, can I like, just, yeah, go ahead. Pop in and say something real uh, quick about three way calls. It doesn't even necessarily have to be somebody in your upline. It just has to be another person. Cause if it's somebody that, you know, they don't necessarily look at you as you're an expert on this, whatever it is that you, that you have. But if you bring somebody else that they don't know, they don't know that person. They don't know, anything about them and like uh, Chris, uh, crystal got on and did a three-way call with me one night and it was such an awesome three-way call because it turned out and i had no idea that this girl 
would be able to relate to Crystal the way that she did, but they did, and then, you know, they talked about confianza, and it was just such an awesome three-way call. So don't even necessarily have to be an upline leader, uh, just anybody else on the team, you know, I'd always be willing to help anybody else out too, so just something to keep in mind there. Yeah, I mean, I will say, you know, we are one team, one mission in this. And I can't tell you how many times I have worked with sidelines and God blesses your business in other ways. Like it's karma, guys. Okay. So me and Nina aren't on the same team together. There's one, two, three. There's at least five of you who aren't on my team. But like I know in helping you and that's why I have a YouTube channel. Like I could keep all that information private for just my team and be greedy and just let them know those tips. But like, that's not how life works. Like you have to be good and you have to have good intentions and, and um, willingness to help others in order for, for, you know, you to get paid back and not that, not that, you know, grace is like a trophy to be earned. It's, it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's something that comes just with no expectations, but, but I don't expect like, oh, sweet, I just did this Zoom. So like, I'm totally going to have an awesome week because I had like five people from another team and, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, like I don't have those expectations, but just be one team, one mission in this and um, be willing to answer questions for other people on the team pages and encourage other people on the team pages and just be the person you would want on your team. Okay. So, um, all right, we got five minutes. Let's open it up to Q&A and any sort of last minute remarks. You wanna tell me I'm crazy, I'm okay with that, cause I know I am. Just <laughs> say so you're crazy, that's all. <laughs> I love these Zooms. I feel like we've missed out like the past couple weeks cause I get all fired up. <laughs> so it gets me like going again. Just like, I, that, learn, know your strengths. That's one thing I will tell you guys is know your strengths. Like I know I am such a strong like public speaker and like, I guess motivator. I don't know, maybe that's just me thinking I am, but whatever, it motivates me. So, you know, I know that when I'm in front of people and talk to other people, I can seal the deal faster that way. Um, so I'm focusing on that belly to belly or getting to meet up with people. So I might add local people to my Facebook and say, Hey, can we meet up and chat over coffee? Cause I want them to see my passion. Um, so find your strengths in this and run with it. Just run. Okay. Um, and don't give me this. I don't have any strengths. I'm just, a, I eat worms all day. Well, how's it go? Nobody likes me. Like, come on. That's where we started with this is wake up. You're a badass. Open up the universe to the unlimited power you have in this and just tell yourself, you might not feel like it. There are days I wake up and I feel bloated. I feel fat. I don't fit into a certain outfit. I, my volume's way down and I'm like, like I'm ready to go crawl in a corner, but I'm like, nope. I look in the mirror and I'm like, you're awesome. You're like so skinny <laughs> and you're an ambassador diamond. And you know, like you just have to keep telling yourself that and really believe and envision yourself doing the things it takes to get there. Okay. So, um, I love you, Melissa. <laughs> Thanks. I just had to read that out loud to do my own word. <laughs> um, keep up with the recipes. Oh, cool. Yeah, I will definitely keep up with the recipes. Sometimes I don't know who's paying attention, but yay, that's good to know. Um, ow, I got bit by something. Um, any last, any other questions, comments, concerns? Any more like hoorah? Like, it, can you guys give me like a little a head nog or a mo head nog or emoji or like a woo if you if this helped you tonight? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was hoping someone would give me a nice little woo. <laughs> um cool good so here's my my challenge to you before we end this recording get on the family call share this share this with some people share this with two to five people okay so hey you really ought to watch this let's do this together please help me out watch this if i send it to you will you watch it that sort of a thing um all right thanks for being on guys i'm gonna stop the recording